create t-shirt designs on Canva to sell. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create stunning t-shirt designs using Canva, yes, the free version, and how you can turn those designs into real income by selling them online. So if you're someone looking to start a print-on-demand side hustle or just want to unleash your creativity, you're in the right place. Let's dive right in. So here I am on Canva, which is one of the most beginner-friendly graphic design platforms out there. The best part, it's completely free to use. Now there is a pro version with extra features, but for basic t-shirt designing, the free version honestly works just fine. Now let's talk about why people love using Canva for t-shirt design. Most users create digital designs and then upload them onto print-on-demand platforms like Printful, Printify, Shopify, or Gelato. These services handle everything from printing to shipping. You just need to create a design and list it online and you're good to go. All right, so let's get started with the design part. Once you're inside Canva, head over to the search bar at the top of the homepage. Since there isn't a direct shortcut button for t-shirt templates, just type t-shirt into the search bar. Once you do that, Canva will bring up tons of options, everything from casual designs, professional looks, seasonal prints like Christmas-themed shirts, and much more. You'll see a variety of templates, each offering a unique vibe. Whether you're into minimalistic styles, bold text, or artsy illustrations, there's something for everyone. For this video, I'll select a basic blank t-shirt canvas so we can start fresh and build our design from scratch. You can also choose from Canva's collection of pre-made templates if you want to get started quickly. There are literally hundreds, over 220 templates, including both free and pro versions. But don't worry, we'll stick with the free ones for now. As you browse through, you'll notice they're sorted into categories like illustrations, text-based designs, and even seasonal trends. Once you find one you like, you can customize it completely. Change the colors, fonts, images, and more. All right, let me go ahead and open up a blank canvas, and I'll try creating a custom design from scratch. If you're not sure what kind of design to go for, don't stress. A great place to find inspiration is Pinterest. Simply head over to Pinterest.com and type something like T-shirt design ideas into the search bar and you'll be greeted with endless creative concepts from all around the world. So once we're on Pinterest, let's go ahead and type in t-shirt design in the search bar. And just like that, you'll see tons of creative ideas pop up, from minimalistic typography to bold graphics and trendy quotes. Now, here's the cool part. A lot of these designs you see can easily be recreated using Canva. Seriously. Even the more artistic looking ones can be done with a bit of creativity and some basic Canva tools. For example, if you see a shirt with a stylish quote or a fun graphic element, you can totally replicate that style in just a few steps. So let's give it a try and create one from scratch. Back in Canva, I'm starting with a blank t-shirt canvas, and the first thing I'll do is add a text element. So I go over to the left-hand toolbar, click on text, and then select add a heading. For this example, I'm going to type in something simple like love. It's a clean, powerful word and great for demo purposes. Next, I'll bump up the font size to make it stand out more and drag it into the center of the canvas. Now, I want to change the font style to something bold and modern. It's a nice thick font that works really well for t-shirt designs. After positioning it in the center, I'll copy and paste this text twice so we have three layers of the word love. I'll place one above the main text and one below to create a stacked repeating effect, a style that's really trendy right now. Now comes the fun part, customization. For the top and bottom layers, I want to give them a slightly different look to make the main word pop. So I select the top one and head over to the Effects tab. Here, I apply the hollow effect, which outlines the text and gives it a nice contrast without being too overpowering. Next, I do the same for the bottom layer. Again, applying the hollow effect, but maybe with a little twist, like glow or splice, just to experiment and see what looks best. For now, I'll keep it simple and stick with hollow on both. For the middle, love, just to make it stand out more against the hollow outlines above and below it. I'll also tweak the transparency and spread settings slightly to get a more balanced, polished 
look. Once that's done, I'll copy and paste the entire group again, just to play around with positioning. Maybe try placing them differently, adjusting alignment, spacing them more evenly, and centering everything. It doesn't need to be perfect, especially if you're just getting started, but it helps to eyeball the spacing so it looks clean and intentional. Now, I won't say this is the most perfect t-shirt design ever. I'm just showing you a basic method. But even something as simple as this can look really good on a shirt. With a few small tweaks and some practice, your designs can look professional in no time. So let's go ahead and leave this one as it is for now. Next, once you're happy with your design, it's time to download it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on Share in the top right corner, then select Download. For the file type, I'll choose PNG since it's high quality and works great for t-shirt printing. Once that's selected, I'll click Download, and just like that, the design is saved to my device. Now that we have the design ready, we can move on to the fun part, selling it online. There are plenty of platforms you can use like Redbubble, Printful, Printify, and Gelato. For this video, I'll use gelato.com to show you how the upload process works. So I'll log into Gelato real quick. And once I'm in, I'll click on Stores from the dashboard. Then I'll hit Add Product, go to Men's Clothing, and select T-Shirt. I'm choosing the Premium T-Shirt for this example. Then I click on Add Image and upload the design we just created. While it's uploading, quick tip. If your design has a white background and it doesn't look great on darker shirts, you can easily remove the background using a free tool before uploading it here. Once it uploads, I click on the correct file to apply it to the shirt. Now I can adjust the placement and sizing right here on the shirt preview. You can just drag and drop from your device. Once uploaded, just click on the image, and Gelato will show you a live preview of the t-shirt. As you can see, the designs look pretty cool. This kind of minimal but trendy design can really stand out on a clean black or white tee. Now once you're happy with the design placement, click on Continue to Media. Here you'll pick your mock-up styles. These are the product photos that'll be shown on your store. Platforms like Gelato and Printful give you a few mock-up options, so pick the ones that best suit your brand. Since I don't have anything on the back of the shirt, I'll skip that part. Then just click Continue. And now we move on to entering the product details like the name, description, sizing info, and more. After that, click on Continue to Pricing, where you'll set your retail price. The base price might be around 10 euro, and let's say we mark it up to 20 euro. That means you're making a 10 euro profit per shirt. Finally, when everything looks good, hit Publish. And if you've already connected your Gelato account to your online store, like Shopify or Etsy, the product will automatically sync and go live. Design eye-catching, trendy t-shirts using Canva with just a few clicks, and upload them directly to Gelato for global printing and delivery. Whether it's a powerful quote or a stylish graphic, your design can start earning in no time. And that's it. That's how you create a cool, professional-looking t-shirt design using Canva and start selling it through Gelato or any other print-on-demand platform. If you found this helpful, drop your questions in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and see you in the next one.